And welcome back, Haskey here with another guide for Banjo-Kazooie. Today's walkthrough is on getting extra honeycomb pieces in Rusty Bucket Bay. This is another good one, much like the previous couple of levels that we've been taking a look at. Rusty Bucket Bay has some pretty well-hidden extra honeycomb pieces. Uh, Rusty Bucket Bay has quite a few nooks and crannies, lots of shipping containers and interior areas uh, that uh, if you don't know where you're looking, you can be spending quite a bit of time looking for these. First off, we're going to be jumping into this cage here with Snacker the Shark. I kind of wanted to point it out, but I was too busy blabbing about something else. If you stay really close to the cage, like the, the perimeter of his little, uh, his little zone there, he actually won't spawn and you can kind of take your time. So you just kind of have to hug the walls and then you really don't have to uh, deal with Snacker himself. I did swim into the middle of that area just to kind of demonstrate that he does in fact spawn if you go you know, further into that little pocket of water there. But yeah, kind of nice to know that there's a trick to that. You don't really have to deal with being chased by a shark. Of course, you don't want to take too much time because the water in Rusty Bucket Bay will slowly kill you. That's kind of a, a unique hazard in Rusty Bucket Bay. Even if you're on the surface of the water, you lose air, but you probably already do that. Anyway, though, now that we're inside this sort of, uh, I'm going to call it a, a warehouse, there's that switch in the back end. You flip that, and on the opposite end of the warehouse, there's the flight pad, and we just flew up there and grabbed that. And heading back outside now, we will go ahead and perform that trick again, the one where we just kind of hug the wall, and we will be able to sneak out without even seeing Snacker this time. Very nice. And then we will kind of flap our way over to the nearest ladder. We don't want to be spending any more time in the water than we need to. And we will head towards the second extra honeycomb piece on this level. So now it's time to go into the dreaded engine room. Now, luckily, just collecting extra honeycomb pieces, we really don't need to go into the area where all the pistons and gears and, and fans are spinning and trying to knock us off the map and making us rage. But we are still going towards that area. So we'll go ahead and hop down here. And uh, I decided to safely go down the ladder instead of just hurling myself down, as I usually do. Which is so slow and so boring. Anyway, and I'm going to see up here and kind of show you where we need to go. Try to get a better angle here for you. But yeah, there it is right there. And uh, this might take a few attempts to reach. It just, it's it's pretty much at the, the maximum extent, like the highest you could possibly jump and reach something. So uh, sometimes when you when you go for that jump, it just kind of doesn't really seem to want to go. So give it a couple tries and you'll be able to make it up in there. But anyway, that was the two extra honeycomb pieces on Rusty Bucket Bay. Not too bad. Once you know where they are, at least. I do personally think the warehouse with the underwater entrance is particularly sneaky. I seem to forget about that room a lot. But anyway, that's going to do it for our extra honeycomb piece guide on Rusty Bucket Bay. We have just one more level to go. That's going to be Click Lock Wood. Look forward to it. That's coming up next, and I will see you in the next video.